hi guys and welcome back to another video i am feeling so much better i'm almost back to like my full energy my full appetite everything like that i even just drank coffee for the first time in like two and a half weeks almost three weeks now i did cheat it's not like homemade coffee but it's coffee so it's a start <sighs> speaking of okay so <clears throat> today's video is gonna be really quick I did not do one of these last month so I figured I had to do one this month I'm still waiting just for a few more questions for my Q&A repot so that I have more questions to answer than I have plans to repot, which I mean, lots of things need to be repotted. So it's like endless repots, it's fine. But for today's video, I have my top five favorite plants for July. Now, it's Hoya heavy. <laughs> I've got more Hoya than anything else, but that's okay. It's fine. What, what are you doing, Harley? Anyways, before we get into that, if you're new here, hi, my name's Emily. The black one's Harley, that one's Sammy, and apparently they want to, uh, leave maybe what are you doing girlfriend anyways here we go this is harley this is sammy <laughs> all right let's get into it There is a moth on my window. Why are you on my window? It's daylight. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I thought they only came out at night. <sighs> Anyways, where to start? I have them all hidden. I've got four on this side and one on this side just because I don't think the table can hide that one. <laughs> But we're gonna go ahead and just start with the smallest one. So this, let me move up here. This I believe is my Hoya Serpents. I believe it's a Serpents. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But since I moved it into my Millsbo cabinet she's just kind of been growing up the wall like this and she has had a very big growth spurt and she's actually branching out to make another strand now i probably will be cutting this soon what is that oh is that another little branch is starting to form I don't know but I'm probably gonna be cutting this soon because I want a nice bushy plant of this but from where I got it was just a tiny little cutting it's done very well she is in a jar of just lechuza <laughs> that's what it is she's in pond She's doing very well, actually. So, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to cut it. But I will probably cut it here soon. It's had lots and lots of growth. Like, I think when I got the cutting, it was only like this. Like, it stopped right here. So, it's grown. The stem is fuzzy. It's got nice pretty little leaves they're kind of waxy feeling and so I just like it 
it's starting to look like an actual plant now. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, you can even see the roots right here. Don't mind my like really crappy nails. <laughs> they chipped. <laughs> okay, it's, it's fine. I'll redo them later. Um, we'll go with this one. So this, oh, got a backup down. There we go. This is my philodendron tortum. I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with this plant just because it's not only is it growing really weird, but it's a pretty slow grower for a philodendron. I feel like, oh, unless I make a mess like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have much to say about it. Don't get me wrong. I love this plant. It just, it grows weird. It looks weird. But I mean, that was the allure that drove me to get this plant is because it looks weird. It doesn't look like 95% of the other plants I have. So that is why I got it. But yeah, it is growing weird. Like this leaf, you can see. I think it's just because of how, where I have it on my wall. It kind of pushes up against the wall and makes it like that. But it's not too bad. I don't know. I just... I love this leaf shape. If you have spider mites again after I just treated you, I'm going to lose it. Do you ha I don't see, I just see the webbing. Okay, I lied. This is not one of my favorite plants. But I'm already showing it to you, so whatever. <laughs> this is the last leaf it put out, this bottom one right here. And it is currently working on putting a new leaf out. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but there is a little, a little just peak of a new leaf coming out. I'm not even risking it. You're going back in the bathtub. Give me a second. I'm throwing this in the shower. Okay. Now that that has been pushed to the side to be dealt with. That's so frustrating. <laughs> okay. Especially when it was like Wednesday when I had treated it. Tuesday or Wednesday. And it's now Saturday. That's so frustrating. Okay. Next one <laughs> is this Hoya. I have no idea what it is. Well, I kind of have an idea. I just can't think of it right now. So I will put the name right here. That is what I think it is. But this one has also gone through a giant <laughs> growth spurt here. These are the two original leaves that it came with. It has some sort form of like a margin slash outer variegation. I don't know. It's very weird. But I don't not like it. I actually love it. I do. So this whole strand right here is brand new. Like I said, these are the two original leaves that the cutting came with. And it's putting those two new leaves out. And then right here is got two more new leaves coming out. I feel like I should get this thing on a trellis. But I don't know. I need, I need to get some trellises. That's what I need to do. 
because I don't really have them. Ooh, it's also kind of splashy. This is also in a pond and it, all it does is it has Lekka here on the bottom. But that is that one. Looks like it's growing some aerial roots as well, just to due to being in the mills bow, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm not mad. <sighs> Break from Hoyas. And then we'll end off on a Hoya. Yeah, let's do that. For, oh. So I have three Hoyas and two Philodendron. Okay, it's fine. I need a backup. So you can actually see this plant in all of its glory here. It's most of its glory. So this is my Florida Beauty. I actually really like this plant. So it came to me with this leaf. And I think this one, I think these two are the two original leaves. Nope, it's not. It was just this one. Okay, so it came out with this one. I cut it. Then it popped this one out. And then, actually, funny story, it popped <laughs> this one out, which is a... Hello, come here is a very very gorgeous leaf like this leaf is no joke the best leaf on this plant not even gonna lie i love this leaf it's so pretty so cute let's see and then it spit this one out which is like a half moon still very very pretty still love it and it just pushed this leaf out. It's still hardening off. It looks, it looks like it's gonna be a very pretty leaf. It does have some damage on it, but that's just because I'm very impatient when it comes to leaves coming out and it was kind of stuck. So I helped it out but it's so pretty. Like even not even hardened off, this leaf is gorgeous. So I cannot wait for it to fully harden off and show its colors. But this is on a medium. Oh, you are so rooted in here. What's it saying? It's a medium 2.0 thickly grow pole. I think it's in a six inch. Yeah, I think this is a six inch pot that it's in. I don't really see any roots, but it is definitely rooted in this pole. It is so rooted in here. But that's okay. Yeah, I just, I love this plant it's got such a unique like horse is that what they call it horseshoe i mean it doesn't look like a horseshoe whatsoever but is that what they call this or a horse head or whatever i think it's a horse head shape to the leaves that is just it's super unique so yeah god i love this leaf I'm going to be so sad when I eventually have to cut this plant when it outgrows. I'm going to be so sad. But yeah, <laughs> there is my Florida beauty. And last but not least is another Hoya. This, oh, I'm closer. This is my Hoya Black Margins that turned into a splash. 
there we go now I have a little window so this plant when I first got it it was just which I can actually take this out it's still in the same pot the same pot that I received it in this little four inch but it was just this it just was filling up the pot no strands or tendrils or anything like that I put it on this trellis and now it has fully grown like intertwining with this here I'll turn it around so you can see what this trellis is like it's fully grown intertwined like look at this right here I don't even know if I would be able to get this off this trellis and I don't really want to. I mean, it needs a bigger trellis, obviously, because it's grown way past it. But I don't, I just, I don't think I can get it off. And that kind of scares me. I mean, it doesn't really scare me, but <laughs> I'm afraid to try and get it off this trellis, I should say. <gasps> you have new leaves right there and right there. Oh my God. And right there, you're growing all kinds of new leaves. Yeah, I just, I really like this Hoya. It's definitely gotten splashier. Well, there is some splash on some of the original leaves. Not quite as much as there is on these newer leaves up here, but still pretty enough. Yeah, like there's even a leaf back here. <laughs> Just chilling out. But considering the fact that this Hoya lives right here where there's no grow lights besides the grow lights that come off of my Mills bill, and it really doesn't get any sunlight. Maybe a little bit, but it is in a very, very low light spot. As you can see, like right here, that's my other Hoya that's up there. That is my Crimson Princess. But it's just growing and it's loving that spot. And so I just keep it there. It's fine. It likes that spot. Who am I to tell it to stop growing in a spot with barely any light? That I really wouldn't be able to put any other plants there. So, she's happy. She stays right there. And I'm kind of mad that this plant took over my favorite trellis. <laughs> and I'm afraid to take it off. Because obviously I don't want to hurt the plant, but I also don't want to, like, hurt the trellis. Does that make sense? I don't think so. But yeah, she is just living her best life. Let's see if I can count how many leaves it's pushing. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, <coughs> eight. I think it's pushing eight new sets of leaves. So that is very exciting. I can't wait for this plant to keep growing. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And if you have any last minute questions, you can think of or any like topics you want me to discuss like let me know down in the comments okay
please and thank you. So I have something to talk about while I repot plants and I don't just sit there and just quietly repot plants. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you in the next one.